Hey guys, Puppy Kicker here. Um, <clears throat> sorry it's been a while since I've done a video, but like I said before, I am going to get all my current projects done before I start anything new. So, with that said, we are going to... Now, I'm not going to do them all in order because I like to swap up a little bit. You know, I get tired of working on the same thing. So, in order for me not to get burnt out on it, I'm going to swap up. We're going to work on the old Sears today. So, let's get busy. Alrighty, as you can see, I've got the hood off of it, it's sitting over there. Now, what we're going to do is, we're going to do a motor swap. So, the motor that I plan on using, if I can get by with this, I'm going to pull that one off. That's a 13 horse uh, Predator engine. Uh, I'm going to pull it off and we're going to put a twin cylinder 18 horsepower Kohler. Came off of a Cub Cadet. Runs perfect. So why not have more power? And we're also going to do a pulley swap on the rear too. If I can get by with it, we're going to do a pulley swap on the motor. But either way, um, we're going to do one on the rear end. If it does not have a tapered input shaft. So, with that being said, everyone knows how to pull a motor off. So, let me get this motor off of here and we'll come back. I like what we do right here. I like that motor. I like to pull up. I like that motor over there. I like to put a little motor right here and make it a little room. So babe, I'm gonna give me some some new mother mouth hoes. So what we gonna do? We're gonna love it. All right, all right, right there. I'm gonna love it the more. I'm gonna load it all up. And we're not getting it all off, I'm gonna load it down. When I ain't load it down, no. Without without what I do, we gonna need to let me right here. So Y'all move it over me and what I had nothing to go with it. Wait, I was real good. I was real good. Daddy boy. What did I need nothing at? There you go. Alright. We got nothing right here. Oh, no, no, my God. If we come wrong, we got a wheel to back and hold back up. Get this, we gotta get this stall started right here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, different day, this is actually the next day, but as you can see, I've got the motor uh, bolted down in there, I'm going to pull it back out for a repaint of the, the whole mower itself, but uh, anyhow, I've got the mower, the motor in there, uh, I redesigned the clutch mechanism, let me see. I had to cut some extra metal out of it, and as you can see, what I've done is welded this cross brace in there, and I took the stock clutch out, 
of the uh, the brace that was in there that ran across it here, and I welded it across the quarter inch flat stock here. And if you'll notice over on this side, I had to cut the hood for the motor to, to fit in there. But anyhow, moving on. Uh, <clears throat> I don't want stock pulley size, so that's the only pulley I had for the motor that is actually either inch and eighth or inch and a quarter shaft. So I've got the rear end out, got the pulley off of it. And in case you all were wondering, if you look down here, you can notice that input shaft right there is tapered. So the next best thing for me to do is I've got the pulley off and I've put it through my drill press over here and I drilled out every one of the rivets that were around it. All right. And it had little indents that helped keep it up inside of there, as you can see. So what I done was I drilled the indents out, or the, the rivets out, I'm sorry. The spot welds there, I'm sorry. And I took it to the press, and I pressed this piece out. This is the hub that's originally on the pulley. This is the stock pulley. This is what I wanted to use. I've done this method before, but... Once you turn this over sideways, you can notice this right here sticks out quite a bit. This is the new one I'm using. It's five and a half. Okay, once you put it on there, if you notice that does not stick out. So, what I'm doing to compensate for that, take a two big washers. I put it on there, I'll center it up the best I can. But first, I have my washers over there in my vise. What I'll do is I'll weld around my washers first, and then I'll bring it over here. I'll center it up the best I can, put the hub on top of it like that, and I'll weld the spot welds on the hub. Also, I'll weld around the pulley. I've measured it. It's the same offset as this pulley is after I get it all done. So, I don't want to hear nobody saying well, that pulley's going to be sticking out quite a bit because it's actually not. It's going to be sticking out the same. So, let me show you what I've, how I've got it set up over here on the, on the press. I'm sorry, the vise. I've just got it pinched up inside of there, as you can see. I've got it trued top, bottom, sides. So what I'll do is i lay a couple of tacks right here, a couple of tacks under the bottom side. Then I'll be able to weld around it, and it'll be a good solid weld. So let me get that done, and we will come back. All right, guys. Got this on here. Got my washers welded all the way around. Now what I'm going to do is tack weld it, flip it over, measure on each side to make sure this... It's pretty well centered. So, let me get my helmet on.
I can already pretty much tell that's off. So, but let me get my tape measure. I guess it's just the way the shadow appears because it's just about dead center. Yep, that's, that's center. So. Now the way this will go, I'll sit right down on top of that. Actually. Looks pretty good to me. But what I'll do is these little tabs that are right there around it. I'll grind that clean. That way to have a better seat down on top of it. So let me do that and we'll come back. Alright guys, as you can tell, it's dark out here. I'm outside in the yard. Uh, we're gonna call it quits for the day. Um I got just rinsed off a little bit. I'll bend down here and I'll show you. I got the pulley on there. Everything works. So what I'm going to do now is, while I've got this thing tore apart, is for the next uh, probably week, week and a half, it's going to take me to clean everything up, degrease everything, um, paint it all up. That goes as well as the, uh, the tractor itself. I'll paint it, clean it all up. So, uh, I guess this, this will be a little series, but uh, it won't be going back together until I get it all painted up because, like I said, I've got it tore down this far, so why not do it now? This is the model number of the rear end. If you can see that. Let me put my finger there. It'll focus. There we go. It is a serial number 8. Five, oh, wait a minute. There we go. Eight, five, eight, four, eight. Type is a six, three, three, A, three, eight. So, yeah. Sorry to cut it, uh, cut it short, but that's what we've got done so far. Uh, thank you all for watching. God bless you all, and until next time, be safe out there. Coming straight up out the woods where I love to stay. It's that country white boy that you love to hate. Pushing them four wheel drives cause we love some mud. And when we party, we ain't stopping till the sun come up.